Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. And I also just want to shout out to the recent new subscribers that I have. I'm so excited that you are a part of the process and the journey, and I hope we can continue to uh, connect and stay in touch and build our community. I just wanted to show what's been going on over here since I've been in quarantine. Lots and lots of cleaning projects, not just maintaining the regular cleaning and the laundry and the picking up and all that, but I think I'm trying to take advantage of the opportunity to kind of go a little deeper and do some of the spring cleaning like going through these drawers and just kind of reorganizing them and getting rid of stuff i have so many t-shirts i realize and i don't even really wear t-shirts i mean occasionally i wear them um just for exercise really but i just have tons and tons of t-shirts that have accumulated so i just wanted to go through those and pick out the ones that i really wanted to keep and get them folded down and reorganized of cushions and cushion covers that really belong on my patio outside off my bedroom so it's part of my cleanup I need to get these things on here today so more of what's going on around here it's crazy You guys are probably feeling the same way our family's feeling if you've been in quarantine for the past few weeks, which is we have been so creative about making sure that we use every possible inch of the livable space in our house. Uh, so yeah, we've just been doing a lot of cleaning with our outside patios. We have this one that's upstairs and we also have a downstairs one, just trying to make the most so that we can kind of feel like we're getting a change of scenery, even though we're just staying in the same place. DVD of The Greatest Showman that we have not opened. I think I actually bought it for a trip to Vegas that we took with the kids. I was planning for them to watch it in the car. But what's nice is now since the patio is tidied up, maybe we can just do a movie night, uh, either tonight or over the weekend where we can watch this as a family on this patio out here. I ended up getting a pretty big payoff for cleaning off the patio. Lyo was in the virtual talent show this year and we shot the video upstairs. So we've been having fun and I've been so busy, but I've also been trying to squeeze in some self-care. Okay, wish me luck with this. <laughs> day two I'm still filing um, but I just wanted to take a minute and say that you know for a person who never really does her own meal I have a ton of stuff <laughs> and I realize I have a ton of stuff mostly for travel so I do take nail polishes and files and all of those things with me when I travel um, so if my manager or pedicure gets my stuff and I can't really quickly 
access some place to repair it, then I have those things. But I also recently bought several things on Amazon um, to see about what I could do to keep my nails up during quarantine. So I will link those down below. And I am in my bedroom because I want to be able to see the television while I'm doing all of this. But when I go to my feet, I might take my whole show to the bathroom. But I'll show you a couple of things that I have. So I actually have this nail drill that I just got. And I mean, I guess I should have done an unboxing. This is the buffer uh, head that it has, but it has so many different heads on it that it comes with. And also these that are in the case. It's kind of nice that it has this little travel case because that'll be easy to take with me to different places. Um, of course, I just have a couple of my own files and then I have tons of nail colors. Um, and most of these are all from the same brand that I was put onto by a great friend, Zoya. So it has, um, you know, a base coat, the color, and then a top coat system. So that's what I'm going to be using on my nails today. I also want to show that I picked this up. I have never used it before. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but I have a couple of nails of mine that are just broken. So this was what I thought of as an option for myself to just kind of apply the um, this nail and then paint them all the same so it would look uniform, even though these are French. So that's an option for me today. Not sure about that. And then with regard to the pedicure, once I start in on the feet, I really like this um, cracked heel uh, cream that I got. I actually got it at a Marshalls, but I'm sure um, I can look a little bit more closely and see what the brand name is. Uh, oh, it's from Advanced Clinicals. So um, I highly recommend this. Of course, I've just got, um, you know, my little uh, toe divider. What else do I have? I have, you know, like nail polish remover pads. I just picked these up at CVS. So these are some of the things that I have. Oh, I did go as far as to get some acrylic powder and some polymer um, uh, liquid or, you know, the monomer liquid, whatever it's called. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be going that far today. I think I might stick with this little Kiss brush on gel nail kit if I decide to repair the damaged nail. I don't know if I'm going to be that picky, but we'll see. Maybe not today, but maybe further on down the line, I will finally get frustrated of seeing the broken nail. I actually have two. Both of my pinky nails broke, so we'll see about that. Oh, and then also, of course, just some cuticle oil um, for uh, these cuticles. But yeah, that's this is everything that I'm working with today. So we'll see how the finished product turns out. All in all, I'm giving really, really great reviews to the drill set that I got online. I think that it was really easy to use. It was really effective. And I feel like I was able to do a pretty decent job on both my nails and on my toenails and on my feet itself, because it actually has a drill head that is for callus removal on your feet. So I totally recommend this. And like I said, I will link it below. I know that it had gotten sold out at one point. Hopefully it's back in stock or you can just wait until it's available in stock because it's definitely worth it.
I am also giving great reviews to the nail color. I think the transformation on my nails is pretty dramatic. I did not use the Kiss nail set. Maybe I'll use that next time and I'll let you guys know how that turns out. But I was happy with the way that the polish went on. It looks uh, smooth and shiny and I'm happy with the way things are for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you're taking care of yourselves at home too.